I was talking about taking the afternoon off to going to see Furiosa. Then I got a thing from Regal to see Furiosa. So I had a 12 o'clock showing in RDX, which is the step right above regular viewing right before IMAX and, you know, and all that other shit. So yeah. I upped my ticket for free as a Regal member and I got out of work at noon and I was like, you know what? I could be there in like 15 minutes. What's up, Marquise? Marquise Johns is chilling. Uh, I could be there in like 15 minutes and then like not even, and you know, I'll miss all the trailers and stuff. So it'll be perfect, right? I'll walk in about 12, 20 ish and I'll, the movie will start. So I was really excited to see this. I talked about it on the show. I got my ticket. Uh, I got it in the RDX. I got showed up. Now my birthday was in May. So when I went to get food, they said, oh, you get free concessions today. And I was like, holy shit, I get free concessions. I didn't pay anything. So I had free soda, free giant popcorn and got upgraded to RDX. Sounds like a slam dunk, right? Yeah, we were just talking about last week how it's a pain in the ass because the food's so expensive. That was like a, a an, an, an answered prayer. You know what yeah. I mean? So didn't spend the dollar, didn't spend the dime. So it's not that crowded, but it was a little crowded. So I walk over to the guy. I got the big popcorn, the soda. I got everything for free. I go, hey, it's going to show you my ticket on my phone. I hand the guy my phone. He scans it. Nothing. He scans it. Nothing. He scans it. Looks at it, looks at me, looks at my phone and says in the most polite way possible, sir, are you aware this is for the 24th and today is the 17th? <laughs> no, I never looked at the date. I just fucking, I just fucking looked. And so now there's nobody behind me. So I'm like, give me one second. I look and see what's the most recent film coming up and Planet of the Apes had started at noon. So I just hit the ticket. Bought a ticket. There's like three people in a giant theater. Planet of the Apes. I was like, all right, I'll go see Planet of the Apes. It was great. <laughs> it was so really? good. It was really, really good. Like, it's a good film. I'm not even going to front. And I don't know if I was just like maybe in a mood and I just was a little embarrassed. And I was like, like an hour in, I got very emotional. Like, it, it got me emotional. Like, yeah, it's heavy. Wow. It's got a lot of themes, dude. Like, it's not about apes, yo. Like Planet of the Apes is ain't about apes, you know. It's about the way we treat animals and the way we treat each other, and like war and like death and enslaving people and treating people badly. And I just became overwhelmed. And I'm sitting there in the wrong movie, <laughs> crying, <laughs> watching Planet of the Apes in my fucking. <laughs> I'm like, am I crying? Like, what the fuck? Is, <laughs> like, what am I going through menopause? Like, what the fuck is going on? But it was very good. I mean, have you seen the reviews for it? It's It's got great reviews. Well, I was just pulling it up while you were talking about it because I was actually surprised. A friend of mine has been trying to talk me into watching this. I haven't seen one since the Franco one, but uh, 80% on critic score, 79% audience score. Yeah. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, Shaj, join us. Is that the Prince of Philadelphia born and raised? This is the peasant of Philadelphia right now. <laughs> sure. Shah, I just told the story. You know that this happened because I told you guys when I went to the wrong movie and thought Furiosa was playing. <laughs> it's funny. I heard really good things about this uh, Planet of the Apes movie. It's um, so good. I'm like, I'm not even front. Like, Bisho, could you just pull box office? Because I think it's doing yeah. well. Like, I don't think it's doing poorly. Shah, it's just the shit doesn't look too CGI, even though you know it's CGI. That's a lot of money. Yeah, this, uh, this new girl I started talking to, she's like uh, not into horror movies, but she's trying to sell me on going to see this. And I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's good. I mean, you don't need to know dick about dick. It's Planet of the Apes. I don't know much about dick, so. You know. Yeah, you don't need to know dick about shit. It's just Planet of the Apes. But, but yeah, like uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Like I, I was, I didn't see it on purpose. <laughs> like I saw it by accident. The shit looks good. Like it's very heavy, um, very. I don't know. It just made it just made me feel like sad. Like you know, what I mean, like you know, what I'm saying, Shaw. Like I was telling B Show, like it ain't about apes, dude. It's not. I feel like it's about like animal rights and slavery and like the themes in this are like empire and it's in and, and war and animal like tr like it's just it's heavy. Like I enjoy these movies. Shy, you haven't seen any of the reboots, right? All four. You haven't seen any of them, right? You seen one no, of the them? last one I saw was um the Tim Burton one, the, the awful version from like two thousand two or whatever. Well, that was... Yeah, that's a piece of garbage. Yeah, that, yeah. But sure. but Shy, that had practical effects at the very least. You know, everybody's. Yeah, it just I don't know, man. It was super cheesy. I thought bad movie. 
bad, bad movie. Um, so yeah, so I enjoyed it, man. I, I, I was like, I don't know, man. Like if chop, you see, you got to tell me like, there's some parts of it that are really heavy. Cause it's like, you know, the theme really is like, cause really planet of the apes guys is about like animal abuse and slavery and like enslaving, uh, beings when you're the superior race. That's what it's always been about. Like those planet of the apes movies, Chad, you've seen the OG, right? Yeah. 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 They're really they're heavy on the sixties vibe, dude. Like that's like, you know, what I mean, as they progress, they got more and more about civil rights. I know that sounds crazy to say, but seriously, Chad, like I think this is really about like civil rights and war. I don't know that it's really. I think, like, you forget that they're apes, like, like because it's just that's all that's in the fucking movie. Yeah, she saw the movie and she said uh, it was super sad. So sad. Um, it's heavy. Very heavy. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want to sign up for that, man. I I love animals to death, and like anything to do with animals that's gonna make me sad. Yeah, me I don't too. need that I in my life. I already, I'm already traumatized enough. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> B show. You said you only saw the Franco one, which is a lot of talky talky. Yeah, I, you know, it, was it the one where John Lithgow had Alzheimer's and Franco was trying to yeah, cure it? Yeah, and at the end, Caesar gets becomes yeah. coherent or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw. Yeah, I thought that one was all right, uh, and I saw the Tim Burton one. I didn't think that one was too bad, but it is cheesy as shit. Yeah. Um, it's just amazing to think of how far it's come. Where before it was like Charlton Heston and people in ape costumes. Yeah. And now you're crying because it's so heavy and loaded. Shot, I, shot, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. An hour in, I didn't realize I was crying because there was some heavy. It was heavy, like the shit that happened was fucked up. And I don't like. I can't. I can't. I'm like shot. Like I, I'm out. Like if an animal's hurt, I'm out. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I can't. But you have to remember, it's Planet of the Apes. Everybody's an ape. So it's just like, like there's no human superiority in this movie at all. Oh, Michelle, okay. Like, so, I, I, okay. I, so it's it's all apes. There's no humans. Like There's one human. There's two. I don't want to give the, because there's a camp. There's a very huge actor cameo in this that I did not know that is not credited. That is in the second half of the movie that you're like, get the fuck out of here. And it, it's it's apropos of nothing. There's a young girl who is the female star of the movie, but other than two humans, everyone else is like a, a is like a drooling lobster. I mean, they don't like the humans don't speak because it's now hundreds of years since it started. It's 400 years, I think, after Caesar. Caesar being the most coherent, like the king. Um, and Caesar's badass. I used to love Caesar. But Sha, like, I'm sitting there, this hand to God, dude. I feel myself, and I'm like, the fuck. Like this, I'm like, I'm fucking crying at Planet of the Apes. Like, oh my God, dude. I just, I don't like to see any kind of animal in pain, dude. I just, I don't care. And I know yeah, that's why I can watch John Wick, man. Once I heard like how the movie starts out, I'm like, yeah, it sounds cool, but I don't know if I can watch that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, pa- like, once you get past that and know that, like, he killed, I don't know, be sure what they said, like 400 people he kills killed in those four movies, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. It, it does yeah. lose its, you know, the sting of it does kind of go away pretty quick. Plus, yeah. it is cathartic. You know, you see what they do to the dog, then he goes on a rampage. It's like, eh, yeah, yeah. You know? Shot. I mean, for what, four hundred people for one puppy, I think is a good deal. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's a good ratio. Yeah, I know you would be down. Like, I think if you, yeah, that would be what Shaw would probably be, like a real John Wick if somebody killed the dog. In Dude, if Sean won, if, if Shaw won Mega Millions, he would just oh, yeah. be the John no, Wick. Shaw, in, like, like, I, like people talk the talk. John's the kind of guy that, like, if he saw somebody like throw a dog, like, 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 kick a dog, like, like, he's getting locked up. Well, like, he's not even thinking twice about it. Let me let me give a quick side story without uh, incriminating myself. <laughs> oh, um, so there was two times, right? So one time in North Philly, <laughs> in it. Temple, I, I have I to say, it. I'm sorry. Uh, one time in North Philly at Temple, there was a frat house, and we saw this drunk white dude kicking a kitten. Oh, so I don't feel I don't I I can share this one. It's fine. The next one I kind of. Have to yeah, you might want to censor yourself a little bit. Um, long story short, we jumped the shit out of this dude and took the kitten. And my friend in Brooklyn, Josh, he still has the cat till this day. Jesus it's an old cat now. Christ. But last time I was in Brooklyn, I actually got to see the cat, and I was like, "Is that the one that we fucking rescued?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Holy shit, that's wow. fucking great." Next one, um, when I was with my ex, not the last one, the one before that, right? Right, right. When I was with her, she had no idea I was like that crazy with animals. So we were going down Center City. And I saw this old man. Well, I shouldn't say old. Like he was probably like in his like he was older than me. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to age the guy. Um, but he was dragging his dog, and I could tell the dog was tired. Oh god! And it's Center City. He didn't feel like carrying it, so he was dragging the dog. 
So I told her, I said, I I'm going to pull over real quick. I was like, yo, just watch, watch my car real quick. Cause I can't find parking. I'm just going to put the blinkers on. Just watch the car real quick. Don't worry about it. I'll explain in a second. I pretty much stalked this man until he went into an alley and long story short, I came back with a dog and we uh, gave the dog to somebody else. Yeah. 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 You're John Wick. He's Shaw Wick. Shaw Wick. <laughs> Shaw Wick. Shaw Wick. One of my proudest moments. I, yeah. I have no regret. I looked at it for a second. Like, like. He was a piece of shit. He deserved it. Like if somebody like ever did something bad to it, like an animal that I owned and I knew I had to put like a, a small crew together, that's that's the first number I'm calling. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you need to get down here. <laughs> like you need to get down here tonight, <laughs> you know. But yeah, Bisha, this doesn't surprise me in the slightest. No, the best part too is he's like setting it up, like you know, this one time, you know, it's I got out of this. Well, you know, there was two times. It's like one of those. It's like the crazy guy, you know, that has it one really bad, like he killed someone's story and then he just yeah. slightly casually mentions there's another one. Yeah, I have a feeling like, there's more stories like this. Sean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but but the, but yeah. this is the thing. Like, I know like this is the way he is. Like, you know, Sean, Sean I chase spiders around our house and release them in the backyard. <laughs> like, <laughs> Absolutely. You think we're going to let a dog or a cat or a bird or like, you know, a frog or, you know, like, no. I'm not into that. Like to me, oh, shout out to Mr. Yarsifer. Drew Yarsifer's in the house. 